Hello, hello, good morning, hello everybody. This is Robin from Roaming with Rover. And here we are. This is Finish It Friday. Well, you guys, it has been a week and I will give you a little bit of information about what all is going on. But um, just letting you know, I did not barely get to touch any yarn this week. And, but I will show you what I did do. What did we work on? Got a little bit of work done on our blocks. Where's our blocks? A little bit. I think this is the only new one I worked on. So I think this is number 11. I did get a few minutes to look through a book at some possible, some possible one, options for, isn't this pretty, this yarn? It's really working out pretty. I'm very, very pleased with it. But I did get a chance to look at a book of uh, granny squares. I think it was like 100 granny squares, something like that. And with some possibilities for my next group, if I decide to do a different, and I do, I wanna do a different, I do wanna do a different kind of block for the second 20. Um, something with just a little different design to it. So we'll see. But I, I bookmarked probably six or eight of them that looked pos possible, possibility. One of the things I have to uh, take into account is I only have so much of this yarn and I have to be aware of how much I use up on my first 20 before I determine how, how much I need to use or how much I have left for my second 20. So, but 10 done, so that's a quarter of the way done. And I actually scheduled it out on a calendar and I'm a little teeny tiny bit ahead of schedule. Not much, but a little teeny tiny bit. So, there is that. So I got, I think I got one done this week. One of these. And I worked on this while I was in the car a little bit. We went on in a little, Went a little ride the other day to go do something and I grabbed this and worked on it a tiny little bit. Because that is something I can do while we're driving. I don't have to pay any attention to, you know, instructions. Plus, I still have all the ends, although I may be able to convince Smith Morgan to do my ends. She actually doesn't mind doing ends, so that's something that she'll, she may do for me. Um, surprisingly, I got a lot done on this hat that I started which is knitting and as you guys know i'm not a fast knitter and i have to pay attention but at this point it's just the 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 ribbing which is knit two purl two and yes i made a mistake i got off on my count right there so i don't care um i didn't notice it oh there's another one i didn't notice it until i was way past it i don't have any idea how i did that but i think that'll get covered up when i turn up yeah, it'll totally get covered up when I turn up the brim, so it's fine. But there's my my ribbing for the brim, four inches of rib stitch, and I'm now ready to start the actual design on the hat. So I have to change needles, go up to a different needle size, and this is where I start having problems on these because this is now where it begins to be the stranded knitting, and I'm gonna use two colors at once, and this is when it gets scary for me so we'll see hopefully next week we'll have a little bit of that other color in here and you'll start to see a little bit of the design i also have this uh, scheduled out on my calendar how much per week that i need to do to keep up and i'm actually ahead on this this yarn that i'm using is the cascade 220 superwash cascade yarns 220 superwash I really like this yarn. It's very, um, it's squishy. It is machine wash, cold, tumble dry, 100 grams, three and a half ounces, 220 yards. It is, has a mil comes in a million colors, but this particular uh, design has this in black and white. And you'll see why pretty quick. So that's what's going on with that one. <clears throat> 
And huh, the big thing that I worked on quite a bit this week is the sort of kind of based on the gumball afghan. She's almost done. She is almost done. I have, I ran out of yarn on this last bit, on the last bit of edging. I need a little tiny bit for the two rows on that. And I think I have this much from here to here and it's done. So I literally have three feet of half double crochet and that's done. Now I still have some ends to do, not a ton, because there's not a lot of ends on this, um, but I've got these ends right here. Now I gotta tell you, I'm not pleased with how this looks, where I did my color changes. You can see that scarring there. I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna gather this up and I am gonna put a tassel there and I'm gonna call it good. I don't know what else to do. It looks terrible and it's very, very, very visible. And I think it's because of all of the bright colors. And I know other people have done this and done a wonderful job. So I don't know why mine looks so bad, but I do have a few other places where I did color changes. And I think it's because it's all in one spot. But other than that, I think this turned out really well. So that's how I'm gonna fix that. Unless you guys have a better idea of what to do with that. That's the only thing that I can come up with. Because it, I mean, it looks terrible. And if this weren't for somebody else, I wouldn't worry about it, but it is. So I've got to do something to fix that. That's, and that's the only spot in the whole blanket that I'm not happy with. But yeah, it looks terrible. And I fiddled with it and fiddled with it. Blocking's not gonna help. I could, no, that's not gonna work either. I was gonna say I could maybe take the color in each area and kind of tie around with it, but it clearly, it just looks terrible. It looks terrible. Not happy. So if you've got any other ideas, let me know. Let me know. I did get a little bit of new yarn in for the shop. Um, I got some more 220 Superwash. Isn't that a beautiful color? To me, it, I needed something that looked like water, like a river, and so I chose this color. It's got a little bit of, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but there's some um, like white mixed in with the blue, and when it's worked up, it looks to me it looks like a river. And then this is the 220 Superwash Wave. It's the same fabric, but of course the different colorations. And when this is worked up, to me, it looks like multicolored rocks, which is what I was going for. So these two together, yeah. I love, love, love this. And then I'm gonna use this same dark blue. Won't those colors look nice together? I think so. How does it start? It starts with, I can't remember. Oh, it starts with this. And then it goes to this, and then it goes to this. So it'll look like that. With some other, I think they get mixed around. I can't remember. But I think that's really pretty. What do you think? Yeah? I think that's gonna look nice. So that's another half. And all of these hats that I'm doing, I'll show you, come out of this book, Knitting the National Parks. And one of these here days, I'm gonna do a video uh, showing you some of the books, some of the hats in there that I wanted to. I've got a few marked off, yeah. And that's gonna be a fun video. But I'm really excited about these 
these yarns because they're super beautiful, beautiful colors. So these are some new colors that we've got in the shop. If these are something you're interested in, let me know. Uh, don't think I tried to put them on the website again. It's it's I, it's such a struggle for me to get new stuff on the website because I, I just don't know what I'm doing. So I'll take a quick picture and put them on the Instagram, and that is the the easiest place for you guys to look up new things. I can throw something up on there super fast. So if you see something there, just give me a holler because it can take me weeks to get stuff up on the website where if you see it on Instagram, boom, it's there. And I will get those posted today. Um, so what's been going on this week? It's been a bad week. It has been a rough, rough week. Um, I know you guys have heard me before say to be careful when you put in the name of the shop to make sure you get that S on the end because there was somebody else with a similar name and uh, somebody with a similar name decided that she wasn't happy that we were using this name even though we are perfectly within the legal rights to do so and so she chose to cause trouble for me a lot of trouble for me and instead of playing nice she chose to take other routes and let's just say I decided to take the high road and rather than fight and spend a bunch of money that frankly I don't have um, and bring attorneys into it even though I know I'm in the right and even though I have spoken I have spoken to attorneys and I've spoken to the people at the state who handle naming businesses all of which told me I was in the right and I was perfectly within uh, legal limits using the name that I use but the bottom line was how much do I want to fight how much energy do I want to expend and um, I just decided that it wasn't worth it it wasn't worth it, it wasn't worth the negative energy it wasn't worth my time and trust me I put a lot of time in the last two weeks in dealing with this mess. So from now on, we are now Sasquatch Yarn. It's Sasquatch Yarn and More is the name of the company, but the website is Sasquatch Yarn. So the, yog the logo is the same, everything is the same. And if you forget and put Bigfoot Yarns with an S in, it'll still bring you to us. But if you can just make a note that we are now Sasquatch Yarn, and that's S-A-S-Q-U-A-T-C-H, Yarn. <laughs> I'm even like grabbing up my business cards and crossing it out and writing in Sasquatch Yarn. So that's what I've been dealing with. So welcome to Sasquatch Yarn and more. Sasquatch yarn and I'll put that information down below um, it's been fun and it's taken up all of my time and all of my energy and all of my um, all of my everything and it's making it's made me miserable and I just I just kind of hit a wall and I'm like you know what it's not it's not worth the battle it is not worth it so I took the high road and here we are at Sasquatch Yarn. So the website is Sasquatch Yarn. The Instagram and the Facebook are Sasquatch Yarn. So anything that you want to connect with us is Sasquatch Yarn. Okay? Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Um, as always, if you're interested in anything, give me a holler. And somebody said we needed to take a quick look around because we hadn't done that in a long time. And I have done a ton of work in here. And I will do a full-on tour pretty quick. But let's get this. Here we go. So here we go. We've got all this. And again, every bit of this stuff is for sale. So if you see anything in here... And you go to use your Bigfoot bucks, which are going to be Sasquatch bucks here in a minute. 
Look at these cute towels. These are all dish towels. All of this stuff is for sale. Every now and again, there'll be a sign on the wall or a bit of display that is not. I'm gonna just do a quick once over with these. So if you see anything that catches your eye, I know this is too fast, but you can always slow it down. A lot of plants. We did that plant expo and I brought in tons of plant things. These are called plant charms and they hang on either on the plant or on the side of your planter. I love that one. It looks like an espresso machine. And we got the Coke cans and we've got all of the drink charms. I love this one. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The matcha tea. Oh, I got some adorable cherry stuff coming. The little Oreo cookies that are sparkly. And we got a few holiday things. Just love it. And all of these earrings are $10 each. And if you buy three, you get a fourth one free. Look at this. Look at the Grinch ones. So adorable. I love this. Can you tell those are, those are kitties all stacked up? The black cats. And there's some more Grinch ones. Oh, look at the llama ones. My faves. The little pug dogs. Cows. Oh, the cow ones. Love them. Oh, did you see these? I thought those were adorable. A whole bunch more. There's some chickens and all kinds of animals, all kinds of dogs, all kinds of cats. And I have hundreds more in the back. Just tons and tons more. Plus all the ones that I don't even have made up yet. We're gonna have to day we're gonna have to have a day of sitting and making earrings. Haven't done that in a while. These ones are so cute, super summery. Look at the little yarn balls. Some of them are really hard to get pictures of, but you can see how they sparkle and shimmer. I like these ones, the little records. I thought they were awesome. We got any Harry Potter fans? Nine and three quarters. This reminded me of a sweater that one of us might make. These ones are beautiful. It's another one that doesn't photograph well, but they're beautiful in person. And then some, some sports ones. Just got these. And we've got some home, this is some more of the home stuff. Oops, I didn't put that back. I was over there doing things and I didn't put the chairs back. And I was hanging up some signs in the windows. Had to change the verbiage on my sign today. Oh, looky there. You can't see it. It's backwards, but what's the, it's the Boise Premier Crochet event. Yep. Some things over here. Of course, all of that's for sale. If you like to do cross stitch, these are made so that you can do cross stitch in the middle. I like the racks over there. And then here's just a quick overview. Look at this, doesn't that look nice? It is just really coming along. We've got some books for sale now. There's the bags. Yeah. And then over here we've got the notions and things, notions and crochet hooks and 
things like that. So yeah, it's getting there. It's a getting there. So that's it. That's been my life this week, dealing with all that stuff and um, tiny, tiny little bit of crocheting and trying to get the website updated a little bit. Getting the, every time we get something new in, I gotta figure out how to get it updated on the website. It's not easy for me. It's not easy for me, but I'm getting better. If it's already in there, if it's something that we already have, then it's easy for me, it's easier for me to just add a new color. But if it's a new product, then it's hard for me. So anyway, um, please go in and take a look at Sasquatch Yarn on the website and on the Instagram page. And I will pop up a few new pictures on there this week. And thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys later. Please like, please subscribe. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.